Assalamu alaikum. Okay, now we'll be continuing with colligative property part two. My name is Mahfouz Abbas Makame. I'm a student from Mohas and also I'm from SOS. I'm a minor school. Now, welcome to Dr. Said Ramadan um, online classes. So, leo tuta and elea na kipanda tulichukia cha mwisho colligative property part two. Na kumoka tuli um to the discuss about the concept tare to discuss about the relative lowering of vapor pressure kwa hiyo leo tunaendelea na vipea ndio hivyo baki ambacho tunaanza na nane elevation of boiling point okay okay now about boiling point firstly we need to know what is the meaning of boiling point tare boiling point ni ile temperature ambapo liquid inakuwa changed into gaseous form. Sendio, kiufupi is the temperature in which um, liquid changes from liquid phase to gaseous phase. Example, kwa nini? Maji. Tari, kwa temperature ile maji pale yanaanza kupwaga. Tari, yanaanza kuchange. Yanapuanza kugeuka mvuke. Tari, that's the boiling point. Tari, lakini sasa in terms of vapor pressure, tuta define boiling point kwamba is defined as the temperature tari, in where the vapor pressure of the liquid is equal to the vapor pressure of the atmosphere okay of the external environment tunaweza kusema au tunaweza kusema nini of the atmosphere okay kwa hiyo in terms of yani in, 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 in a simple way kwamba boiling point ni temperature ambapo liquid changes into gas but ukiambo okay, define in terms of vapor pressure utasema is where the vapor pressure ya ile liquid is equal to the vapor pressure of the atmosphere okay now so um, um, when we add solute we say the vapor pressure is elevated okay manake the vapor pressure is increased not decreased okay kwa hiyo if the vapor pressure is increased why why adding solute increases vapor pressure okay now this is because the solute molecules added decrease the vapor pressure of the solution tare kwa hiyo reason ni kwamba ile solute added tumesoma the last lecture kwamba the solute added causes the decrease of vapor pressure in the solution okay and so the vapor pressure of the liquid solution will require a larger okay to not hapa kwenye larger larger temperature to be equal to the atmospheric pressure so now tumesema kwamba ku add solute ina decrease vapor pressure tare na ili maji ya chemke au liquid yoyote i change to gaseous form maana yake nini to increase vapor pressure yake mpaka ifikie vapor pressure ya nani atmosphere ndio tumesema kwamba ina boil si ndio yani according to this definition tare kwa hiyo maana yake hapa tushati ya solute now solute ina decrease vapor pressure kwa hiyo tutahitaji temperature kubwa zaidi ya pale ambapo ilipokuwa pure ku increase vapor pressure yake ifikie atmospheric pressure kwa hiyo this is the reason boiling point itabidi sasa iwe kubwa temperature inayohitajika kuyachemsha maji au kuchemsha any liquid now itakuwa ni ni kubwa okay this explain why sea water has a higher boiling point than pure water tare hii tunaona yani kwamba ina explain kwa nini maji ya bahari yana higher boiling point kwa hiyo equation can come why sea water has higher boiling point kwa sababu in the sea water kuna solute particles tare example sodium chloride and other salts tare kwa hiyo hiyo ndio inayofanya boiling point e increase Okay. Now before going to the calculation for boiling point, let's discuss on this matter. That others might know it but others may not. So um um we we know about molarity and other concentration we study from form 4, okay? So but here we have to know about this molality. That molality is the number of moles of solute in 1 kg of solvent okay it's different from molarity this ni number of moles of solute n in 1 kg of a solvent 
chem tutaiona mbele zaidi tayari okay twende kwenye formula ya boiling point <coughs> boiling point elevation so ile boiling point of ele- boiling point elevation au change of boiling point itakuwa sasa na boiling point of the solution minus pure boiling point ni different na kwenye vapor pressure kwa nini kwenye vapor pressure tulichukua pure tukatoa ya solution kwa sababu pure ilikuwa ni ambayo inakuwa ni kubwa afu ya solution inakuwa ndogo kwa hiyo hapa tukitaka difference maana tuchukue kubwa ambayo kwa hapa kubwa itakuwa nini of the solution tayari afu ya pure itakuwa ndogo kwa hiyo boiling point ya solution ambayo ndio kubwa tutatoa boiling point of pure ambayo itakuwa ni ndogo tayari hiyo ni just kupata change of boiling point but kuna formula ambayo inasema kwamba change of boiling point is proportional to molality okay ambayo uh, hiyo it's constant ni kb ambayo kb other name yake ni nini ebullioscopic constant tayari tunaona hapa kb inaitwa ebullioscopic constant ni rais kuhifadhi kb boiling point ebullioscopic eb hapa tuione tayari okay now what is ebullioscopic constant is the elevation of boiling point in a molal in a molal solution tayari nini maana ya molal solution kama molar solution molar solution molar hii kama unakumbuka molar molar solution from 4 to define ni kwamba if the solution whereby one number of mole imo katika elite of solution si ndio sasa hapa ni one mole of solute yani molar solution is the solution where one mole of solute is dissolved in one kilogram of solvent tayari na kwa nini hii kb iwe ni elevation in a molar solution example hii hapa molar solution tulisema one number of mole in one kilogram maana yake molality sasa na 1 kwa hiyo delta tb itakuwa sasa na nini na kb kwa hiyo ndo maana hii tunaita ebullioscopic tunasema ni elevation in a molar solution au you can say is the elevation in a badala ya kuandika molar solution tukai define hapo hapo molar solution kusema ni solution where one mole of solute is dissolved in a kilogram of solvent okay now this is just a repetition let's ignore this why uh, because for now it's it will be always equal to 1 tayari kwa this is the formula of molality ni number of moles of solute over a kilogram of solvent so unapopewa swali ukapewa like water ipo in form of grams kwa you need to convert it into kilogram first kwa hii ni just a repetition ya formula yetu okay now he this i is called vanthoff factor but for now i will always equal to 1 okay hi now let's go with the question so the question says the elevation of boiling point was found to be 2 centigrade when 500 grams of solute was added in a 3 kg of solvent okay whose kb i'm sorry apa me cross ko bahati mbaya uh, whose kb is 0.512 now calculate the molar mass of the solute so from 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 later tumesema kwamba delta tb ni sasa na kb m okay now anatuliza molar mass sasa molar mass tutaipata wapi kwenye delta tb hatuwezi kupata molar mass kwenye kb ni constant hatuwezi kupata molar mass but tulisema molality ni number of moles in 1 kg of solvent maana yake hii molality ndani yake umekutakuwa kuna molar mass tu si ndio kwa kwanza tutafute mwan ni molality kwa hiyo we have kb we have delta tb kwa hiyo tukimake subject molality tunapata kb over delta tb ambayo ni 0.512 divide by 2 tunapata molality 0.256 okay now we have hiyo molality yetu ambayo hapa kaita ni just molar concentration kwa hiyo tukasema molality ni number of moles in 1 kg of 
solvent okay now molality we already have it tayari ambayo ni 0.2516 tumepata huko tunaweka kwa hiyo na weights in solvent katwambia 3 kg of solvent okay kwa hiyo kama ni 3 kg of solvent ni hapo ange 2.5 of grams tunge convert kwanza kwa hiyo number of moles itakuwa sawa sawa na hapo tumepata number of moles kwa hiyo number of moles sawa na mass of a molar mass akaitafuta molar mass kwa hiyo na hii hapo tumefahamiana na utende kwenye depression of freezing point maana depression ni kupungua kwa hiyo freezing point inakuwa decreased tayari haya kwanza nini maana freezing point freezing point ni temperature ambapo a substance inatoka from liquid phase to solid phase okay but in terms of vapor pressure to define freezing point is the temperature where the vapor pressure of the liquid state of a substance is equal to that of its solid form okay kwa hiyo mfano maji manake maji yale tuliyozoea vapor pressure yake mpaka ifike vapor pressure iwe sawa sawa na barafu tayari yani liquid liquid phase yake na solid phase yake iwe ina the same vapor pressure hapo ndo itakuwa hiyo ndo freezing point manake hapo ndo maji yataganda tayari na ujua kwamba freezing point is equal to melting point. Tayari? Kwa hiyo tusi tukakonfuse sana tukichanganywa. Tayari? Okay. Haya. Okay. Why does the freezing point decrease? Sasa tunasema freezing point ina decrease to get solute so why? The reason anasema ni kwamba because of the solute particles the vapor pressure is lowered so the temperature of the vapor pressure of solid and liquid to be in equilibrium is also lowered okay because of the solute particles okay kwa sababu ya hizi solute zilizotiwa the vapor pressure of the solution inakuwa lowered hii tumesoma at the start na, na ndo maana mwanzo tukaanza na kipengele muhimu sana cha vapor pressure tayari hata questions zinatoka sana vapor pressure tayari is pia zinatoka sana ila most of the time ni vapor pressure tayari okay now the vapor pressure when it is lowered so ile temperature ya vapor pressure of solid and liquid to be in equilibrium is also lowered tayari kwa hiyo huko tulisema ile temperature ya kufikia wapo kwenye boiling point we say temperature ya kufikia ya vapor pressure ya liquid phase kuwa atmospheric pressure inakuwa increased tayari lakini huku kwenye freezing point kwamba ile temperature ya hizi kuwa sawa sawa inakuwa decreased yani inakuwa lowered kwa na so manake na freezing point pia itakuwa lowered na hii ndio reason ya kwamba sea water has a lower freezing point hata mfano leo ukajaribu kuchukua mchuzi na maji yapi yataganda mara moja tayari kwa hiyo obvious maji yataganda no yes obvious maji yataganda mara moja si ndio kwa hiyo this law inaikuwa explain na nani na black dens anasema black dens state that the lowering of freezing point is proportional to molality of the solution this is by black dens law tayari kwa hiyo hapa tunapata the same formula nilikwambia ni i kwa hapa always equal to 1 okay kwa hiyo tunapata change of the freezing point tayari ni proportional molality ambao constant itakuwa ni nini kf tayari kwa hiyo delta tf sawa sawa na kf m m ni the same molality tayari kf ni molar freezing uh, ni molar freezing point constant kama kule ile ilikuwa inaitwa molar boiling point constant au ebullioscopic constant. Kwa hiyo hapa ni molar freezing point constant au cryoscopic cryoscopic constant, okay? Kwa hiyo ni molar freezing point constant au ni cryoscopic constant. Na its other name, yani its definition ni depression of freezing point in a molar solution kama kule 
Okay, now going to the question. Anasema calculate the freezing point. Now, kuna difference between lowering of freezing point and freezing point. Au boiling point and elevation of boiling point. Aki kwambia tafta freezing point. Una tafta freezing point of the solution. Kwa yu manake kwanza upate lowering. Hafu utapata freezing point. Tari. Na kule aki kwambia utafute boiling point. Una tafta kwanza elevation of boiling point delta TB. Alafu una tafta TB of the solution. Tari. Kwa yu na hapa. Kwanza calculate the freezing point freezing point of a solution that has 651 grams of solute. Tari, 651 grams of solute of molar mass 62.07 in 2.5 kg of water. Kwa kila kitu kasha tupa. Kwa yu tutatumia this mass ku find number of moles. Kwa yu number of moles akapata ni 10.5. Tari. So. Bada kupata ni 10.5 number of moles. Ok. Now, tutatumia iyo number of moles kupata molality. Na natuambia molality is equal to moles of the solute over solvent. Ok. Now, tunaika number of moles na mass of the solvent tulipata. Tulipewa 2.505 kilograms. Ok. Now, tutapata molality. Bada kupata molality, tumepata ni 4.5. 1,9 Ok Kwa hiyo from From the table Ok, hili question ilikuwa na mwanzo na table yake Katupa KF ya water Now hapa we have something To yangalie sana Not all of the time Tutapewa hii KF If akitumia solvent Different than water Basi KF sana atatupa Lakini kwa solvent ambayo ni maji Sana KF atupi Kwa hiyo we have to know KF na KB of water. KF ya water ni 1.86. Okay. Now, therefore, delta TF, sasa na KFM, tutapata delta TF. Kwa hiyo, this formula nilisema, hii formula ilikuwa ni lowering of freezing point or change of freezing point. Uku tuliyona, hii ni lowering of freezing point. C of freezing point. Kwa hiyo, tukitaka freezing point yenye, tufanya nini? Now, tumesema, Freezing point imekua lowered. Sindio? Manake ili tupate ile final. Tuchukue ile ya mwanzo original. Ambo ilikuwa ni ya maji. Usa usolvent ni water. To minus ile lowering. Ili tupate yoye nye otari. Kwa hiyo tapata 0 minus 7.79. Kwa hiyo answer tapata negative 7.79. Ile ndo jawabu, tukulipata hapa. Ok. Now, let's go to the final. Ambayo ni osmotic pressure. Kwanza, before knowing osmotic pressure, to you what is osmosis, ito mesoma, ni movement of water molecules. Ok. Hakuna patika nyingine inafanya osmosis. It's just water ando ino move. Tari. From area of low concentration to area of high concentration. Tari. What is the meaning of osmotic pressure? It's the pressure which must be applied to prevent solvent to enter into a solution. Kwa hiyo kukua kuna solvent and a solution. Kwa hiyo ile pressure inayotakiwa yu applied. Tari ili ku prevent solvent to enter into a solution. Inaitua osmotic pressure. Now this has been explained by Van Toff. Ambayo. Ye kasema osmotic pressure is proportional to concentration when temperature is constant. Kwa ye osmotic pressure iko directly proportional to concentration. Tari? Kwa ye kila solution ikiwa more concentrated itakuwa in a high osmotic pressure. Ok? Na kila ikiwa low concentration manake itakuwa in a high osmotic pressure. Pia osmotic pressure is constant. Is proportional to absolute temperature when concentration is constant. Kwa hiyo osmotic pressure nayo ni proportional to absolute temperature ikiwa concentration is constant. Kwa hiyo yote ayo tunakuja kufikia a formula ambayo tunaita Vantoff equation ambayo ni pi v is equal to n rt. Hii formula tunaikumbuka kwa ambayo asha soma guess kwa hiyo tutaikumbuka. So instead of p. Hapa imekwa pi, ambao pi itakwa ni nini? Osmotic pressure. 
na tunapoiderive zaidi kwamba tutapata pi ni sasa EV tukidivide hapa tar ukidivide by V tutapata pi sasa na n over V R T okay ambayo this n over V ni number of moles over volume ambayo tunaita nini molarity kwa ndio maana kapata m r t e m ni molarity hizo ni just derivation lakini ukiambua andike van't of equation this is the van't of equation tayari kwa hiyo after this lecture tutakuwa tuna lecture of solving tutakuja ku solve more on osmotic pressure na na zile lectures zilobaki kwa thank you for being with me this is dr said ramadan online classes welcome again